Hi, and welcome to the Intervention Channel, or welcome back. My name is Steve Bruno, and this video is about the urge that many family members have uh, often during an intervention to always be doing something. It's a nervous condition. I mean, not a condition, but it's a nervous sort of state of mind uh, where downtime makes people nervous, especially mothers and fathers and, grand, well, just about anybody. Say, well, shouldn't we be doing something? Shouldn't we be doing something? When in fact, you've reached a point where it requires a little bit of downtime. Uh, this can be the case, uh, well, probably one of the most common uh, instances is uh, when a person has agreed to go to the program and they're taking forever to pack. Um, it's not that they're not doing something, it's just that, you know, you're, the, the, the mom or dad or whomever will have this urge to get things going faster, right? Come on, come on, let's go. What are you doing? Are you screwing around? Come on, you don't need that, blah, blah, blah. They will actually tank the intervention right then and there by unnecessarily pushing the attic because they have this nervous energy. Another really good example of how this, is neg this can negatively affect an intervention is in the story um, Lisa in my book, I believe, where Gus, uh, the character Gus, uh, who's a real person, is not his name, but um, I remember we were planning the intervention and he got up in the middle of the planning and rehearsal state, stage and said, uh, uh, well, you know, let's just get going. Let's get going, come on, let's get going. Let's get this over with, All right? It's that same kind of nervous energy that, um, will lead a family member to uh, rush other family members. And the sense of urgency seems like a real thing. I mean, it seems like it needs to be a real thing. Yeah, oh gosh, maybe we should just get this over with. I mean, it's been long enough. Da, da, da. And you haven't rehearsed well enough. And then you go into the intervention, you're unrehearsed. Your planning is rough around the edges at best. And it flunks. And you look back and you say, God, damn, if only we had taken our time. The same goes. It's the same kind of energy. Um, I was dealing with out in Florida. I did an intervention in San Marco. It's this little island near Naples. And um, I remember we were at the hotel room and we just had to wait for the wife, the guy's wife, to talk to him. And she was taking her sweet time and uh, he was going back to work and we needed to do some things, but th there was a scenario happening at home that I was managing with the ex-wife. And the mother, who was staying at the hotel with me, or at a, you know, a different room, the mother and father, um, were nervous. They wanted things to move along. And so they would poke at the ex-wife. She, you know, texting her, how are things going? And is there anything we can do? And this was just pissing her off. So it was causing some pushback on what I was trying to accomplish. So I had to sit down and tell them what I'm telling you now, which is that sometimes you have to be patient and let good strategy take place, allow for it. In a game of chess, you don't make a move because you feel you're out of time. You make a move because it's the right move. And the reason that you believe it's the right move is you have taken the time to think it through. If you just start moving stuff around because you have this sense of urgency, you'll lose the game, period. You'll lose the game. Uh, if the other person, that is to say, if the other person on the other side is taking his time, you're, you know, you're definitely gonna lose. So, um, and this also goes, this especially goes for family members who are on lack of sleep and uh, who have been spending a lot of time with other family members where they otherwise would not, and maybe tensions are running high, uh, there's an urge to always be taking action of some kind. You've gotta watch out for that. And I wanna kind of argue, make both sides of the argument here. Of course you need to take action. Of course it needs to be urgent. Of course things need to move along quickly. I'm not saying they don't. But if there needs to be some downtime, if you're waiting for the guy to show up, if he needs, you know, if he's off, you know, making a, you know, going to the dealer or whatever, 
uh, after he's agreed to go to treatment, for example, this is a good example, and um, you have an urge to go track him down or something like that, well, he's probably going to show up, there. let's go intercept him, and da -da -da. no, forget all that. You only want to take action that will actually forward things uh, from the viewpoint of accomplishing this with the addict or alcoholic, not from the viewpoint of giving yourself some kind of emotional payoff because uh, you're in a panic. So you got to watch out for your own state of mind. It's the only effective way to work is as objectively as you possibly can and with a good game plan. Like I said, if you look at the timeline of an intervention, I mean, we had one, I had one out in uh, Mineral Wells, West Virginia, I've referred to this before because it took me forever, a, or took us forever, it was a 10 day intervention. But during that time, there was downtime. And the grandparents, you know, a day would go by and we wouldn't hear from him. He was out scoring meth or doing whatever. And they say, well, you know, this is not going well. Well, it wasn't true. I actually got the guy in. At that point, however, during the intervention, there was this downtime. We had to wait for him to show up again. And this can be unnerving, but you've got to have some patience. So that's all I'll say for it. Uh, patience is its own reward. Uh, not that that's helpful, but uh, it is uh, rewarding when you get the result. And to endure, to persevere, occasionally means to sit tight and let the strategy uh, bite, let it take hold. So. Uh, that's all I'm going to say about this. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments section below, or you can write to me directly at stevebruno.com. I've mentioned my book in probably just about every video, but I'll mention it again. It's called More Than Hope, uh, Intervention Guidebook that's available on Amazon and Kindle. There's also a link below for that. Uh, this is the Intervention Channel. Please peruse the videos and educate yourself as much as you can. There's never any harm in learning. I am Steve Bruno, and thank you for watching.